BC's shipbuilding industry is not happy on the eve of what feels like a slap in the face. BC Ferries is set to take delivery of three large new ferries, all built in northern Germany. We sent CTV's Mike Colleen to give our viewers the first look at the ships. Mike? Well, it's certainly a peculiar sight at the entrance to this fjord in Flensburg, two brand new BC ferries. They're going to be used as massive floating billboards to promote the 2010 Olympic and Paralympic Games, but these ferries will also be stamped made in Germany. They've been building big boats at this shipyard in northern Germany for 135 years and have never failed to finish a vessel on time. The company says it has no intention of losing that impeccable record on the lucrative project for BC ferries. The project is going very well. We are on schedule. We will deliver on the 26th of October. That's when the first of the three Super Sea class ferries, Coastal Renaissance, will sail for BC waters. It's expected to begin operating on the Horseshoe Bay Nanaimo route in March. All three ferries will be in service by next summer. The Super Seas are the largest double-ended passenger ferries in the world. Are you satisfied with the new design of the bridge? BC Ferries has 10 employees here in Germany working with the shipyard. In all, 800 workers and another 1,500 European contractors are involved in the Super Sea project. We still say that these ferries should have been built in British Columbia by British Columbians. BC shipyards insist they could have competed for the half-billion-dollar contract. The Washington Marine Group uh, at, at the time, uh, as we argued that all the way through, were prepared to put guarantees on the table to, uh, for price. We were prepared to match whatever Germany was doing. Dale Phipps isn't so sure. I wish we could. I'm a British Columbian, but the fact is, is that uh, they just don't have the capital investment in the facilities to do what we're doing here now. For its part, the German shipyard makes no apologies for winning the international competition to build the ferries. We are used to serious shipbuilding, and the big advantage for us is to build this ship in a series so we can offer a competitive price. Because the ships are being built overseas, they're subject to an $82 million Canadian duty. BC Ferries has included that in the $542 million contract and is lobbying Ottawa to waive it. BC shipbuilders are demanding the duty be paid. The shipyard is also building a fourth vessel for BC Ferries. The Northern Expedition will eventually replace the sunken Queen of the North, and BC Ferries will likely have to pay a Canadian duty on that ship as well. Tomorrow, we get our first tour inside the Super C-Class Ferries here in Flensburg. Back to you. All right, thanks, Mike.